Hey there, how's it going? And welcome back to more King of the Ark, baby. In last episode, we did end up going after a couple T-Rexes and it kind of worked out well for us. And now that we have them, it's time that we start working a little bit more to uh, get on the right track in order to face these bosses, which means I gotta stop this, I have to stop. I have to stop flossing, I'm sorry, it's too much. <laughs> but now that we've got the Rexes, we need to start focusing on trying to get towards the bosses. And that means we need to do a complete 180 change of the spectrum here. And it's time for us to get uh, get our feet wet a little bit, as it were. We have done little to no efforts in terms of taming the seas on the island so far. And it's kind of a necessary thing. We're definitely going to have to go in there and get some things done. And it's just, we, we, got, we can't avoid it. We can't avoid it. And we can't bring Road Joking out of the pond, okay? We can't. Pawn chart, I just, I don't, okay. Uh, and that <laughs> and that's partially why we can't bring Road Joking. Because he's, he's just, he's, he's, my, he's our special, he's our pawn shark. We love him, and we don't want anything to happen to him, which means we are now in need of a new sea-bearing uh, creature. So, that is the goal today. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, let's go up here because I made some things in order to do this. I'm hoping we can either find a Bassy, maybe a Sarko, or maybe a Dinosuchus. Any of those three seem fine. Hell, we might even tame a pod full of sharks. I don't want to tame a bunch of sharks that are a little bit slow and clunky, but if that's what we got to do, that's what we got to do. Uh, and in, in preparation for that, I've gone ahead and made us a little bit here of scuba, scuba stuff and things. Uh, we got the flippers, we got the masks, we got two oxygen tanks, but we don't got these because we don't have the polymorph order. I think we don't. Let me just double check. I guess I can't double check. Um, but I'm pretty sure we don't have the polymer to make the scuba leggings, so we don't got the leggings. So we're just going to have to suffer with, you know, maybe not a wetsuit. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's the goal today. That is the entire goal today. We just got to start getting our feet wet down where it's wetter and better and all of that jazz. So, yeah, Bassy, Sarko, Dinosuchus, all on the list today. There are caves in the water. There are oil nodes in the water. It's just, it's time. It's time. We got to get down there. Pawn Shark needs some mentorship. He's, he's, look at him. Look at him down there. He can't even see. Oh, I guess we're going to go visit him really close. Uh, Pawn Shark, how's it going, bud? You doing okay, Rojogan? I'm worried about you, bud. <laughs> But we need to get him a little bit of a friend. Larry is no help at all, as you can see. He's just a, a NASCAR enthusiast now. I'm not really sure. So, yeah, we got. We're just, there's things that need to happen. In fact, you know, even maybe we'll bring Larry today. Larry, you're coming out of retirement today, buddy. You might be best in order to go through the water and navigate some things. Also, let's go ahead and grab Qui-Gon. Boom. Uh, because I don't really know. I'm not really sure. But if we do find, I know we can do grab a Sarko, but if we find a Dinosuchus, we might be able to grab that with the Quetzal. I don't really know, but I would like to at least try it today. So, yeah, all of that in order, I guess it's time to start looking. And there's not really a great method to start looking for these, besides to just get on a bird and do one of these maneuvers here and just kind of glide over the shallows so we can find them because Bassies more or less hang out in shallow water. So we should, in theory, be able to see them from the coast like this so that's what we're doing <laughs> this is what we're going to be doing for a while hopefully i can find some things easy enough sarcos also hang out on the surface and so do dinosuchus so you know we do a couple laps of this island maybe one maybe two maybe nine maybe we'll, maybe we'll run up on one that's a pretty decent level you never know that's the goal and if that doesn't work if this doesn't work i guess we could get on the beaver and actually get in the water <laughs> and go around like this, but I'm really hoping that just getting on the bird and hanging out up top on the water's edge like this be a... I'm hoping this will suffice. Suffice for our purposes today. Anyway, yeah, so uh, I won't bore you guys with the searching of the stuff and things, so yeah, I'll bring you guys back hopefully by the time we find something. Um, yeah, I don't... <laughs> Who hopes not too long here. It could be. It could be. Passes are fairly common, though. I feel like we'd find a Bassy or a Sarko. Maybe not a Dinosuchus. Those... <sighs> I'd really like to find a Dinosuchus. But out of the three, they are definitely the more... They definitely seem to be the more rare of the creatures in the water. So, anyway, yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna do some searching. I'll bring you guys back. BRBs. <laughs> okay. All right. 140 is pretty good. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, as you guys can see, I was not having a whole heck of a lot of luck in the water... So I decided to get on the beaver, and I just, it's been, lo and behold, it's a lot easier to see the things in the water, water than above it. Go figure. <laughs> but I do still think that, oh, if you can, go ahead and do a lap 
above the water before you get in it. Because, uh, let me tell you, trying to fight... Speaking of the devil, here comes an eel right now. Trying to fight off eels and sharks with a beaver? Definitely, uh, definitely not the move, man. Definitely not the move. But, okay, so we have found one that's a little bit deeper than I had initially thought. Um, we need to do a little bit of prep. I have not done the prep. So, uh, Bassies are a passive tame. Where is Larry going? Larry, I need you to just listen, bud. I need... I know it's been weird. You've been... You've been disabled wandering. I know that you've been retired for a minute, man, but I need... You gotta get your head in the game here, man. You just... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll just... I'll never doubt you again. Uh, <laughs> they are a passive tame, which means we need to do a little bit of prep work in order to do a... Actually tame these guys. So, uh, I have had no luck finding any... There, that, you guys see that shark over there just beached himself? Whatever. Um... What was I saying? Uh, I had no luck finding any decent level Sarkos, and I have only seen like two or three Dinosuchus, period. So, yeah, it's been a little bit of searching. Done a little bit of searching stuff and things today. So that's not, that's not the worst thing. It's not the worst thing, but at least we have found something in order to get ready to go. Actually, our first base is over here too, which is kind of nice. It's kind of nice. So, uh, because we don't have Ovis, that Bronto guy right there might actually be the ticket. Because we don't have an Ovis, we do need prime meat in order to tame these guys would be the best thing we can do. Uh, besides kibble. And we don't have the kibble necessary to go, so I guess, listen, Bronto guy, you and me, we got a problem now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we're hitting for 112. You know, Jenny has been gone the way to becoming quite the loyal companion of birds. I must say, I'm, I'm very proud of you, Jenny. Nice, look at this. He's so stunlocked, this Bronto has no idea. The hip is the most vulnerable spot. Oh, God. Nice. Okay, this isn't going to take too long. This shouldn't take too long here. Whittle it down a little bit. I don't even think this thing's hitting us. Perfect. Perfect. Come on. A couple more shots here. Keep running. Right in the hip. Right in the juiciest spot, baby. Give it to me. Yeah, just run right into my base if you want. That's fine. Cool. 28 prime meat should... That should get us pretty close to taming this sucker. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> it seemed like an okay spot. There were some eels around, and I don't want to have to try and fight those on the beaver because, <sighs> listen, as delightful, as delightful as, as Larry is, he's not a fodder. He's not that. He's not very battle savvy. <laughs> so I've been kind of, by and large, been trying to, like, super avoid. Um, God, level 20. I've been, by and large, been trying to avoid any and all danger with the beaver. I just, I just I had. He's so bad. He's so bad at, at combat. He also, when you dismount them, goes straight up and just floats around, which is kind of terrifying. All right, here we go. All right, Larry, it's your time to shine right here. Everything I've been saying ill about you, you can put it to rest right here with a good outing. Right here, bud. Go ahead and put this on. I oop, Wait, pause. Incorrect. Let me waddle over here to Jenny. Uh, we need some of this stuff. Thank you. I'm going to grab a couple pieces. Here we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> this could be bad. This could be bad. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. There's eels already. There's eels already, man. We're hitting for 15. I think that's because it's got to be mate boosted and like pack boosted. Oh my god. See what I mean? Yeah, there we go. 63 damage. Way to go, Larry. That's one. That's one, buddy. Let's get this other one too, because otherwise they're just not gonna leave us alone during this process. Cool. Let's do. There's a oh, third beaver. Third not beaver eel. That's an eel. Turn around, Larry. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> You see? He's just not a very battle savvy beaver. We do love him so, though. Okay, good. I would presume this is our guy here. Let's go ahead and put this on the hotbar so we can we can actually see what the what. Are you the mans? Oh, you know what? I'm just now realizing. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's a piece to this puzzle that I didn't really think about, and that is that there are many manta ray following our guy like paparazzi. Okay. All right, how are you feeling, Larry? You feeling okay? You're not looking too great. Eight. <laughs> oh, it's not good. Oh, it's really not good. Uh, okay, maybe we can do. Oh no. <laughs> the thing is, I'm pretty sure if I hop off of him, yeah, he just floats straight up. Oh my god, it's terrifying. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to shoot it with arrow. Right? Miss. I said shoot with arrow. What? Oh, that hit. That hit. That pissed it off. And that should cause... Yep, that should cause... Listen, listen, Larry, it's not the time. It's going to cause all the the to to come right after us. Look at this. Look at this. Run. Run, Larry. Oh, God, run. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Are we good? 
<laughs> Good. And now we can maybe pick them off from the shore. Where it's a little bit safer after they dispersed. Here we go. Perfect. I've got you now. We got the we got the brains. We got the power. We got the thumbs and the beaver. That's all we need. <laughs> cool. Okay, did they all flock? I guess not all of them flocked back. This guy wants some. Come and get it. Go get some. Have some beaver. Hot <laughs> beaver action, baby. That's what I thought. Oh, you want some beaver too? You want some beaver too? <laughs> nice. Larry, you're actually having a pretty good outing here. I'm kind of surprised that this is going as well as it is. Nice. So far, so good. Did all the rest... Oh, God. Did all the rest of them flock back to there? I don't think they did. They just kind of all scattered, which is great. It's kind of what we're hoping for here. Let's also get closer to the shore in case things go astray here. Things go awry. Come on. Come on. Your health is not doing horrible. We're kind of holding in there. Nice. Get you another one, Larry. Find you another one. At least they're all pretty low level, seemingly. I'll take that. Okay. Not interested in the only one wanting more beef. Y'all don't want no more beef? He wants some beef. Like, oh, God. Okay, he's dead. That was a five. This is a ten. Okay. We're actually looking out. All of these these rays are pretty low level. Come on, let's get these two. That's, that's an 85. I said that. He's an oh, he's bloody. Oh, we already got him. Larry. Are you just... Is Larry just a god? We might have not even needed one. We could probably just take on a cave with just Larry. Okay, I'm not. Let's, let's calm down. Let's reel this back in for a minute. I'm not... I'm not bringing a Larry to... Uh-oh, 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 oh my god. Larry, are you okay? Oh, god. Okay. Uh, we gotta be... Oh, god, Larry. He was retired in his pond. He just... Okay, we gotta just do it quick. We gotta just be quick about this. Listen, Larry, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bud. If there's, a... if there's more in there, we're gonna just try and avoid them. There is another eel already. There's sharks afoot. There's Xenophactus afoot. There's all kinds of bad stuff afoot. There's another Manta. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Here's where I'm about to be disappointed by Larry. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. We might as well take care of this really quickly here. If we can. No, we can't. We just can't. We just can't. We're going to die. No. No, Larry. Run, buddy. Oh, no. Swim faster. Swim faster, bud. No. I don't want to lose Larry. Come on. Come on. You're the MVP for a reason. Is that eel still coming? Oh, my God. Okay, we might have to wait. We might have to do a little bit of waiting here. Can we get... I don't think we can... This will work, but I'm going to try it. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure you can't force feed herbivores. I'm, I'm pretty much sure I've known that for like eight years, but I still I had to try it, right? I had to. Let's get out of the water immediately. That eel is right there. I'll take care of this, bud. You just hang tight. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Nice. 135. Yeah! Come pick on someone your own size. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Going after a poor defenseless Larry. <laughs> God. Where's he going? Come back and fight me. Maybe don't come back and fight me. Uh-oh. Okay. Wait. I didn't think that through. I didn't think about this. I didn't think about, I didn't think about this. There's a shark coming out of God knows where. I don't know where this guy's going. You're just... You're just, you're just a menace to society. Oh, there we go. Dead. Who are you? Explain yourself. Why are you here? Who have you heard about? 80 male megalodon. Just leave me alone. Oh, <laughs> God. We are severely under-equipped to handle such circumstances. Okay, maybe now. Maybe now we can feed it. Problem is, though, if that shark beelines it for me, we're probably dead. I mean, we're absolutely dead. And the bass is only going deeper and deeper. This is just a recipe for disaster. I'm sure that there's something dark and ugly down there the deeper we go. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna... We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I don't know how this works. I don't know how... I don't know how we're descending, but whatever. We'll just take it. Come here. Come here. Come here, stupid. I, I got rid of your entourage. Please. Please just... Just listen. Just have some of this. You want... You want this? have it what is that 6.9 oh god of course what a, why wouldn't it be that number and then we got to swim away then we got to swim away so uh the way passive tames work for most of you smaller guys um besides just swimming up and feeding it food we're actually running it low on stamina too that's not that's no bueno uh the moment you feed it the first food you then have to wait a good bit of time between the first feed and the second feed for whatever reason the time between the first feed and the second feed 
is the most amount of time. After the second feed, it actually goes pretty quick. So knowing that, we're going to just put it on the tracker like this. Hope it doesn't get attacked. And we're going to wait a significant amount of time. Uh, maybe look after our beaver guy. Who, who, who both did pretty well and not so well at the same time. I'll give him credit. He did a lot better than I was. I guess we could have hoped for out of our beaver companion. Let's get up here on the land. Let's take off our, let's take these off too. And maybe that. And probably actually everything since we're not using it. Nice. All right. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to put that on. We're going to monitor the situation from up here. Kind of, and then I'm gonna watch its food. Hopefully its food will go down a little bit more. And then when I think that it is low enough, we will try and feed it our second, um, I'm gonna kill this actually. Hey bud, hey, uh, you wanna give me some good, so the good good? You gonna give me some good stuff, man? I'll take it. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Silica pearls, oil, all that's very good. Oh buddy. <laughs> he's got four, I mean, he's, he's getting a little bit better. Want some meat, have some more meat, eat some. Have some, eat it, love it, have it. Yep, didn't think so. Didn't, some didn't think. <laughs> didn't think that would work. All right, well, I guess now we play the waiting game, the long con, and we just hope to God that, that nothing attacks it or no more things spawn down there with it. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to feed this stuff, this prime meat stuff to our, to our little whale dolphin friend down there and hopefully all goes well, and we'll end up getting a new bassy towards the end of the day. Oh, he's swimming up. Look at this. Look at this. He knows. He knows. Kind of. I don't know if you guys can tell too well, <laughs> but I can. If I get him up, maybe you can see a little better. Look at this. He's coming up. He's coming up for air, kind of. Nice. Okay. Just, yeah, you went really deep, my friend. You descended really, really deeply into the water. Please stop descending deeper into the water. Please stop descending deeper into the water. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Let me just check. I'm pretty sure shark stay over there. I'm pretty sure he's not going to be ready. Yeah. Yep. It's always the first and second feed just takes so long. So long. Anyway. Yeah. I guess I'll bring you guys back if anything more eventful happens. But for now, this is my life. Raw hire. <laughs> All right, you guys. BRB. Alrighty, guys. So I've got the Basilo up to 76% taming. It's been fairly uneventful. However, there are some, uh, there are some things deep down that I keep noticing, like that one. Oh, there's a level 90 plesiosaur. It's a little further down. Luckily, they can't come this high up. So as long as the bassy stays up here, we should be good to go in terms of getting this thing finally taped up. Hopefully not a whole lot longer, but you never know. Yeah. And then, of course, of course, while being out here, we've accrued some dolphin friends. It just oh, if, you, if either one of you are decent level, we might consider taming you. Oh, it's a 120. That's a 120 dolphin. Oh, do we even consider that? I don't know. The bass is going to be done so fast. We might, you might be able to sway me, sir. Where is he? Is it you? No, 15, 15. Was the 120 a dream? Is it you? Uh, uh, you know what? If you don't want it, I'm not going to force it on you. I won't. I won't, I won't tame you if you really want to be that standoffish about it. Is that really the 120? Is that a 120 dolphin guy over there? Is that the one that we... It is. Okay, whatever. I, I, I thought kind of a little bit about taming that, but I just, where the hell is our, above me? There he is. I thought kind of about taming that, but it, I just, I can't be bothered to try to track it down right now, especially on the precipice of a fresh bassy tame like that. So yeah, like I said earlier, the process of the time it takes between the first feed and the second feed is so long, but if you can get past that into the third, fourth, fifth, etc., it goes pretty quick. It's just for whatever reason, the time between the first and the second, is intense. Oh, what is it? This is right here. This is the one. Nice. Okay, let's just do one of these. Just one of these. Just grab. Nope. I said grab. Nope. Can you stop going deeper? There's stuff down there that will eat you. Okay, good. We'll just go back up here. Our bird should be waiting for us. Jenny has been diligently following us around the ocean, waiting for our beckoning call. Let's just do one of these so she doesn't fly away. Can I reach you from here, Jenny? Oh, Jenny, listen. I'm, come on. Come a little bit closer. Come on. Come on, Jenny. A little bit lower. Yes, 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 perfect. Okay, and no. Mm, 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 mm. Stay there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Good, and we're out. Perfect. Okay, gamma down a little bit. Let's get this gas mask off my face. We actually lost one of our gas masks in the water. Oh, actually, it looks like all of our scuba is about to break. But we have half a scuba tank left. Oh, my lord. Okay, let's put all this stuff back on. Get our flak on. Good, good. Let's go see. I probably should have put Larry away. 
Uh, but I thought it might be wiser to let him kind of heal over here on the coast. So let's see how he's doing. Let's check it on Larry. Are you doing good, my friend? You doing good? That's actually so risky. If a Sarko showed up, you would have been, you would have been in a really bad way. How are you feeling? Okay, you're doing okay. You're getting back up there. For now, I'm gonna put you away though. I, I cherish you and your, our friendship. But I don't want to lose you like that. Okay, we don't need any of that. Good. Uh, cool. So now that we have got the bassy guy or gal, the bassy gal, I should say. What are the stats we're working with here? Oh, oh. Okay, we got 40 into health. This is a, a 21,600 health. Oh my God. That's kind of, that's kind of an insane health roll. 24 into uh, the stamina, 28 into oxygen, which doesn't matter. 40 points in the food. Okay. So it got, a, it got a, <laughs> wow. Look at that. It's got 45,000 food. <laughs> okay. We got both a health or yeah, a health and a food roll. 24 into weight, 27 to melee. So that's a pretty decent bassy, honestly. I wish the melee was a little higher. I kind of wish the stamina was a little higher too, but those are things that we can level up. I kind of like I kind of like having the early boost into health. That's really nice. It's really nice. Uh, actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I was going to pull her out and we'd get a good look at her, but instead, let's save that until we get home where we can show Rojogan and his new companion and mentor, mentee. If that mentee, might, that might be better. <laughs> Regardless, uh, let me go ahead. Let's fly home. We'll get a better look. I actually didn't even build a Bassy saddle. What does it take? Let's just do that research together. We should be able to do it, I believe. Uh, fiber hide metal. Yeah, we've got all that stuff. No problem. We can go ahead and make that back at base. Cool. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's go back to base. We can build him a saddle. We can introduce Rojogan, and we can maybe get a couple more things done that need to get done as well. But at least the hard part is done. We have acquired the new crewmate, and it is going to need to name you guys. It is. Uh, I'll show you a little bit more what she looks like here when we get back to base, but it's a female Bassy level 209. So if you got a good Bassy name suggestion, comment it down below. Odds are uh, you do because when I've asked in the past, you guys are very, very clever and I've gotten a host of some really good names from you guys before. So uh, yeah, by all means, if you have a good name suggestion, leave it down below. Odds are I'll probably use it. There's a good chance I'll use your name suggestion. So yeah, anyway. Let me do the flight back and uh, we'll get, uh, we'll delve a little bit deeper into the stuff and things. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so home again, home again. We are back at base. We should be able to get, I think, everything we need to do all in one go here. I think we've got all the necessary components. So uh, let's get back in here. Let's go ahead and check on Rojogan to see if he's still got his head. Yep, planted deeply in the sand. Yeah, uh, don't worry about that, buddy. You keep doing your best down there. We've got you somebody that hopefully you can learn from and, and you know, continue uh, bettering yourself. Let's go ahead and put all of this in here. Turn it on. All of this. That way we can get, you know, you never know when you might need some cooked fish and you never know when you need some cooked fry meat, especially when we can turn that into jerky. Good. Uh, for now, we do need to repair our scuba stuff and things, but for now, I'm going to put it in here with the fur. That way I know exactly where it is and it doesn't get misplaced. Good. Uh, all right, let's get uh, my boy down here as well. Okay, I'm guessing Bassy sounds like something you would build in a smithy. So let's see. Uh, Bassy. Yep. Okay, build me one of those guys. Perfect. All righty. Let's go ahead and grab it when it's done. Boom. And let's go check out our new girl, our new friend. Run down here the old-fashioned way with the ramp. Use our legs a little bit. What's going on, Ferbert? Doing good? Rojogan's just still... Oh, oh, oh. Yep, it's a big moment. Rojogan, he's already getting some more brain activity in there with Menti being nearby. Listen, Rojogan, I love you to death, man. Never change. All right, new girl, Pond Whale. Let's go. Boom, let's get the saddle on you like uh, so. Boom, nice and perfect. Let's get her up here. Let's see what kind of, what she looks like. What are your colorings, lovely? Let's see. Uh, a little bit, little bit more, if you would please. I would like to see, yeah, your face. How you doing? Look at you. A little bit of orange, like an orange whale guy. Female orange whale guy. So if you got a name for a female bassy that is seemingly orangish brown in color. Ooh, I missed the jump. Okay, that's fine. None of you guys saw that. Uh, comment down below. We can definitely use it. Rojogan. Hey, bud. How you feeling? You feeling good? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. That's instant brain active. Look at that. He knows. He knows. <laughs> All right. Unnamed dolphin girl. It is your job until further notice to continue to teach Rojogan and protect him because he's a special man. You understand? 
Look at that eyeball. She knows. She gets it. You two are going to have the greatest of bonds. And while we're here, let's just... Listen, Larry. That's... Whoo! That's the... That is not Larry. <laughs> You're the biggest Larry I did ever saw in my whole life. Let's go ahead and put Qui-Gon away. We actually didn't need you today. Maybe in a future episode where we try and deal with Dinonic or Dinosuchus. All right, Larry. You have once again earned your retirement, friend. How are you feeling? Let's give your melee a little bit of a boost because it seems like it's possible that we may need you again. Behavior, stance, uh, uh, nope. Behavior, uh, stance, aggressive because Larry is still the protector of the pond in Able Wandering. He's our uh, little security officer of the front yard. Nice. All right. So far, so good. You still feeling good, Ferbert? Good. Okay. Everybody's good. Everybody's nice and happy. Cool. So, uh, also something we did in the last episode now that we've got them here ready to go. Um, I'm actually going to let the Bassy sit down there and level up a little bit before we immediately challenge her to some cave quests. But at least we've got it now, and it's down there doing its thing. So, in the meantime, in last episode, we actually also tamed up not one, not two, not three, but four. Count them, four dung beetle guys right here. And I want to go ahead and try and use them today. I would like to set up an area for that because we need... The crop plot is in need of fertilizer in a huge way, so I would like to, you know, we may as well try and do that as well. Let's do door. Can we get some doors made? That's definitely not how you spell door. Uh, door. Good. Uh, two of these. Can we have enough for two? What do you think? Yep. Ship that. Send that. Perfect. Thank you. So we're going to build a little bit of a place for them to stay uh, <laughs> and, and make this doable. You know what? Actually, I think, we, yeah, we got railings in there. Give me half of those. That should be all we need. So all you need for dung beetles is literally just a place for them to walk, and preferably you put it next to your greenhouse like this. Like, that's not right. Like, like this. <laughs> there we go. Uh, for them to, you know, walk around and create you the uh, the fertilizer stuff. So we can do this like this and this. We're going to have to go around collecting um, crapola from people. That's okay. Let's go ahead. Unload our cash here. One. This is going to be an under darkness kind of a finish of this video but that's okay we can gamble i don't give you guys we'll just do it we'll just preemptively that's i must mm, mm -hmm. four uh, maybe we're already on four i don't know three and four all our guys are good to go you're gonna love it here um you know hold on can you fit through a door you think you could get through there if i hold on let's try this if i do this darn i almost made it all the way through an episode without a cough okay if i do this and i whistle you would you be able to walk out of that door? No? You feeling nice and stuck? Nice and stuck in there? Good. Perfect. That's exactly what we need from you. Uh, we do still need to go get a Fiomi at some point, but that's uh, it's not a huge that's not a huge deal right now. That's kind of that might even be something we do in between episodes because Fiomis are that less important, but they do provide a good bit of crap. You know what, Qui Gon? You feel like you might nope, you don't feel like the need right now? That's fine. That's okay. Uh, we will find somebody else. So, uh, also, so one of you commented down below a few episodes ago that uh, when you uncryopod a dino, it will instantly do a, a little bit of a, a little a little feces. A little bit of feces will come out. Uh, and I don't know if that is the same deal with the dino store. Oh, thank you, Jenny. That's very, being just a stand-up gal. You know that? You're really just kind. You know exactly what we need. Uh, I don't know if that's the same thing for the dino storage mod. So a lot of people seem to think it is. Let's just see. I don't, did you do it? Did you do it? You didn't? Hey, listen, man. We're going to try it again. I don't, I just, yeah, I was pretty sure that Dino Storage doesn't count, but maybe for this purpose, I really dislike cryopods, but maybe for this purpose, it might be good having one on hand. I I really thought, I was pretty sure that wasn't the case. Regardless, I, I said I would try it out and we've tried it out. So it's fine. Let me just grab that. Cool. Uh, Thistle Claw, you feeling like you might be able to contribute to the cause, my son? Oh, yeah, yeah, give me some of that. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Go ahead and get this set up over here. And then I do remember what I told you guys in the last episode, you guys. And uh, I am going to give you a little bit of a hint as to what we're going to be doing for our boss fight uh, in the future. Because I've given this some thought. You still, still not feeling like you want to give me anything, Quagon. gone That's fine. I have given it some thought. And I do have a species that I think we're going to try and take on the boss fights with. Because... If you haven't been around the channel for a little bit, you probably don't remember this, but I like going after the bosses with maybe not the most meta creature. So I like the creature. Ark has been around for a while now, right? And we've all fought the uh, the dragon and stuff with the normal everyday meta creatures like the Rex and the Megatheriums. I like doing 
a little bit weird tactics just because i don't know it's fun it's fun using creatures that maybe aren't used all the time how are you feeling ferber you feel like you might need a little bit yes it... okay you guys all saw him do the animation but then i didn't see the it's fine that's fine uh larry i'm just gonna you just... <laughs> got nascar aspirations down there i'm not even gonna bother you with 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 my uh the pleasantries that we are looking for here we may be i'm pretty sure if we just go get a field meal we'd be fine but we could also build ourselves an outhouse and just do and just do that method too if need be so uh give me this guy put you back here so all you need to do for all you new people dung beetles you just put some of the crap all in there god 46 levels i guess that kind of makes sense we were holding on to these dung beetles while killing a lots of bats uh all this goes into weight like this oh my god <laughs> 46 points into a beetle. That seems a lot. I'll take it though. Uh, okay, so all you do is you stuff, I guess I guess we're gonna have one, one dung beetle right now full of crap because I don't have enough poo for, for now. And then you put them on wandering, boom. And this dung beetle is gonna convert all the crap Ola in its inventory into fertilizer over time. And then eventually you guys all have 46, 46. Strange. Okay. All right, I'm not complaining. I'll take it. You'd be super dung beetles. This is probably has a lot to do with the fact that we uh, we killed a lot of things with them in our inventory is, is soul balls, so that's fine. Another adventure, nothing again. Doesn't hurt. We can definitely use the, the crap converters here. Nice. All right, well, for the time being, we're just going to leave that one go. I'm just, I don't know. Maybe in between episodes, we'll go get a Fiomia. Maybe early next episode, we'll go get a Fiomia and we can get this done. Because it would be nice having lots of fertilizer on hand at all times. It really would. It really, really would. And then I have one more thing I want to try and accomplish in this video. So, this is your guys' hint about this new creature, okay? I've given this a thought. I'm not ready to fully announce it, but this 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 is going to pretty much give it away. You know what? Let's actually... I'm actually... I'm even going to pick that up. I know. Weird. I'm going to handle my food. <laughs> no. Oh, you guys aren't watching me do this. I promise you. It's not, it's not as bad as it seems. I didn't just... <laughs> oh, my God. It's pretty gross. Okay. Put all this away. Put all the food away. Just imagine I washed my hands. It's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, so here's your hint. I, I feel like I made them in here. Uh, burr. No. Burr. Yeah, I made two beer barrels. So for the more mindy, you know, hardcore arc people around you, the beer barrel is probably going to give you an idea of what I'm wanting to do here. Let's go ahead and make some pipes too. Pipe. Uh, we'll probably just make a bunch of flexible pipes so I can hide them. These. Yeah, let's do... 10? Yeah, 10 sounds good, actually. Can we do 10? Think you can do that for me? Yeah! So we are in need of beer in order to tame this creature. So, you know, you more savvy arc people probably know exactly where I'm going with this. Uh, but we don't have any beer, and beer takes a long time to make. So I figured we would try and do some of that today. So I think we're just going to set them up here for now, and then we're going to have to stuff them with berries and thatch, right? Yeah, and water. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead. Let's try and get... Uh, you know, we probably need two, we probably need two vertical pipes as well. This is the last thing I want to try and do today. Uh, pop, pop, yeah. Uh, we need two of those, I said, right? Two, boom. That's one. I said two. Uh, two. Thank you. Build those. Cool. And I think we should be able to hook this up to where we hooked up our irrigation pipe in the greenhouse. And then we should just be able to hide all of it in one go and no one will ever know the wiser. You guys will know the wiser. But no one else will know the wiser. Okay, like that and like that. Cool. And then can I connect? Yes, like this. The flex piping is always nice. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to try and run it over here. I know it looks bad for now, but trust me, we're going to fix it. I'm going to try and run it directly. Yeah, like this. And then like, yeah, it doesn't have to look super good there. Boom. Okay. This should be getting irrigated now, right? Yes, perfect. Okay, now what we can do... <laughs> Let's go over here with the S plus pipes. If we weren't using S plus pipes, I'd probably be a lot more careful about how we hid these. But because we are indeed using S plus, we can come over here and just hide the connected pipes like that. And it should not even be an issue. Right? Did it, did it do all the things? It did. Ha ha. No one is the wiser. Now what we got to do actually is we need to take Ferbert out. Uh, can we do a little bit of hot sniper action with Ferbert like this? Do you feel like... Ferbert, I need you, bud. Did that hit? Oh, yeah, that hit. Hell, yeah, that was nice. Okay, let's go over here and get some berries, and we can start working on the beer crafting process because beer takes quite a while to brew, so we probably need to jump on this as early as possible because we need to tame some of these creatures, man. 
We need to tame some of these creatures. I'm not entirely sure on the science behind if it'll work, but in my mind, I think this is gonna work, you guys. I've got quite the, quite the, uh, you know, I've got quite the plan in mind. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you don't get the hint, don't worry. It'll all be revealed in due time. In due time, it's giving me a little bit more. Yep, like that, that's good. Come over here, Jenny. Walk forward back into action. We don't, we do need to add, I guess, like, I'm thinking about putting an elevator, no lie, on our base platform. Reason being is because mammoths don't fit through dino gates. And I really am trying to avoid adding a behemoth gate because it just looks, it just looks bad. It doesn't look very good with our, the way our base is laid out right now. So yeah, we may go ahead and add at some point a little bit of an elevator platform so we can get Herbert up and down, no problem. But until then, we have to do some hot, uh, hot ledge climbing. Do you guys see the problem? Are you guys, do you guys see? Hold on, let's just, hold on. Let's just, okay, I just, something's going on here. Come here, Jenny, there's, there's, uh, hold on. <laughs> I saw a vexing problem. Come here. Come here. Why is it out? Why is the dung beetle out of the pen? Why are you, hey, explain to me how you've done the, the sorcery. Get back in there. What is that about? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We might have to add another ring of railings around that. Uh, the other problem with this is when you go in and out of render, dinos will render in before a structure. So it's possible uh, if we don't put enough stuff and things on them that they can, you know, that they'll render before the structures will and they'll just walk right out. So, I don't know. Kind of a lame problem in Ark, but still, it's not the worst thing. But for now, I'm gonna just do my, our due diligence over here. Let's just, can I get off the bird? I'd really like to just get off. Eh, not like that, thank you. Thank you, Ark. <laughs> I'd like to do our due diligence here and I guess just add another layer of this. Cool. This one is a little bit lower than the rest of them. So maybe, maybe that's, re okay. Mark, I just, listen, man, I, I love you in a lot of ways, but sometimes you're so vexing. You're so concerning. I don't think you can walk out of the doorway, but maybe you can. That's going to clip in there. Okay, I'm going to, okay. Hopefully you can't get out of that for now. There's no way you can walk over this one. And you shouldn't be able to get out the door. Are you going to get over that? You feel like you might get over that? Is that something you feel, you feel like, yeah? All right. <laughs> Okay, that's uh, that's all. Okay, one more actually. What was it? Seven? Nope. Eight? Nope. What was it? Six. Put it. Put. There we go. Okay. Crisis averted. Now what we can do? <sighs> like I was saying, I I uh, I think we should add an elevator platform to our base, and maybe we can do it like right off the side here or something, or maybe maybe even over here along this catwalk might make sense. But that way we can bring Ferbert up and down. Like right here could be good too. We can bring Ferber in and out of base, no problem. And we don't have to add an enormous behemoth gate that would dwarf the base inside. It's just, it's, I've played around with the behemoth gates, you guys, and there's just no good way to make it work. But for now, this will work just fine. We get our S plus uh, little remote here. Do one of these, one of these. Can I hit Ferber from here? No, okay. What about now? Okay, mammoth set. And then we can hopefully reach Jenny. Nope. There we go. That transferred all the things. And then... It's a little bit of a back and forth process, but it's not the worst. We can grab Ferber like that and all is well. So in order to go through, you know, get past all of that, I'm really feeling you guys. Elevator, I just, I don't know. I feel like it's a good process. I don't use a lot of elevators, but you never know. We might just do it. So, ah, beer. We're thinking, uh, let's do Ammer Berries for one side. Let's just drop the seeds because we're never going to need those. Ammer Berries. And I don't know, what could make a tweet that? Uh, Tinto? Tinto could be good. Let's do Tinto on one side. It doesn't matter what berry you put in there. They're all fine. It'll take literally any of them. It says, it literally says a bingle berry in there for the berry at once. But that's because it literally, it accepts all variants of berries. So uh, all you got to do is we got to put this in there. Good. Yeah, then just the thatch. It's got the water in it. Let's go ahead and put the ammo berries in here. Ammo berries. We're going to have two flavors of beer. Just everybody, it's, it's suspend your belief we're brewing two pieces of beer. Let's get the thatch. I'll have to probably add more later, but for now, this will be fine. Boom, like that. And that is brewing. So it looks, it looks like, like it is almost done, right? But this is going to take like a, probably a full day. <laughs> we might get, we might get one done in a full day by the time it gets done brewing. It's going to take a very long time to get a good amount of beer here. So I figured 
for the time being, it does kind of make sense that we just take care of it ourselves. Go ahead and grab all of these. Screw it, we'll even put some Mejo Berries in there. We just we need as much beer as possible. And we need this to be as hands-off as possible for a long time because I really don't want to be having to come back all the time trying to stuff this thing full of berries. That should be good. We might have to add a little bit more thatch too because it's 40 thatch per beer. I just, I, I don't know if you knew that, but apparently that's what happens when you drink beer. You drink a lot of thatch as well. Put this in there. So with that in mind, with that in mind, let's see if I have any extra thatch left over. I imagine... I imagine we've got a decent bit in here somewhere. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can we can spare. We can spare a couple. Let's grab four. 400 thatch each for one of these should be good. Like so and like so. Uh, let me grab some of these out. Here you go. Cool. That should help. And then over here, we should just be able to add all of it. No, uh, let's do that like this and this. Cool. And then we've got narco berries too, right? Yeah. We're getting chores done left, right, and center today, baby. We are setting ourselves up for success. Nice. Let's go ahead and put all of this in there. Uh, here, have some of these. Drugs over here. Good. Start making some. Eight. That's fine. I'll go get you some more stuff right now. Run over here. <laughs> uh, have some berries like so and like so. Give me the spoiled meat because I know you have a lot of it. Cool. Good. That's We're going to not have enough to make all of these. But, yeah. There it is. So, um, remember what I asked. We do need a name for our bassy guy down there. Our bassy gal, rather. She needs a name. She's going to be an adored part of the crew. She's going to be the mentee to Rojogan down there. Look at them. They're already just... It's, look at this trio right now. Larry and Rojo. You're going to do them so good. You just, you're going to put them right, aren't you? You really are. You're going to be you're gonna be an all-star in this cast. Anyway, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. It's been, I think, kind of a longer one, too, which is intentionally and unintentional. Or unintentionally intentional. I just... It happened kind of organically, which is great. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, we've got ourselves a water mount. We are brewing the beer. We are slowly on our way to getting where we need to go and actually kind of pretty quickly. So all we got to do now is we got to tame the creatures. We're going to have to do with some breeding coming up pretty soon. We have a couple more caves to take on, which I'm kind of a wee bit. <laughs> I've got some ideas about, so I'll just also say that. So, yeah, anyway. Thank you guys for being with me on this part. If you made it this far, please make sure to leave a like down below. It does help the channel very much so, guys. It really, really does. And I do very much so appreciate it. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>